Ladies and gentlemen, we have gone through so much bad news. I know, I know you watch my segments and it's always something bad is happening. Sometimes it's positive. Sometimes there's a light at the end of the tunnel. But it's not just unique to me. It's just news in general. People aren't as inclined to look for stories that will lift them up because they're, they're concerned about problems they face in their everyday lives. So they want to be alert to potential threats. You'll see a news story about, you know, Antifa on the far left, and you want to watch it to make sure you know what's happening so you can be prepared to keep living comfortably should, there, should a problem arise. Well, my friends, today I have amazing news. This is the most optimistic thing you will ever hear. Fantastic. A giant meteor of death is headed to us. It's going to slam right in the earth on November 2nd, one day before the election. Oh, thank you, sweet meteor of death. I'm kidding, by the way. But the story is true. Uh, it's not guaranteed to hit us. But here's what here's the story. Will 2020 go out with a bang? Asteroid heading for Earth could hit the night before the 2020 presidential election. But don't worry, there's only a 0.041% chance. I'm pretty sure you have worse odds of winning the lottery. So that's actually kind of worrying that the odds are that high. On November 2nd, the day before the election, it may all come crashing down and the meme about the sweet meteor of death may not be a joke. It may be a prediction. I don't think anything's going to happen. Just another story. Things like this happen relatively often. But hey, what do I know? They say it has a, uh, a, 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 zero, a zero point. Or, well, they got, they got the numbers wrong here. They say, but if it does enter the atmosphere, it is unlikely to cause damage as it's only 6.5 feet in diameter. Oh, well, you know what? What? You got my hopes up, Daily Mail, and now it turns out that the sweet meteor of death is actually tiny and it can't damage anything? Look at this picture. They make it look all big. That's about as big as a dude. I am disappointed. Well, fret not, my friends. Natural disasters are still upon us that can cause serious harm. And I'm going to get a little bit serious with this one. I I know the meteor thing is funny because I don't really think the meteor is going to hit us. And even if it did, it wouldn't be that bad. No, but this is more serious. Now, I'm, I'm, I know you may have been laughing for a moment thinking, thank you, sweet meteor of death. And now we actually have a legitimate scary story. Louisiana, Cuba residents evacuate as twin storms take aim at U.S. coast. Now, this is really terrifying. I can make jokes all day and night about the meteor, but this one has me worried. So with all sincerity, I hope everybody's evacuating. I hope uh, uh, you're, you're safe and preparing for this. This is crazy. Have you heard about this double hurricane about to slam into Louisiana? Coastal residents in low-lying areas of Louisiana and Cuba were evacuating on Sunday while roads turned to rivers in Haiti's capital city as twin hurricanes threatened the Caribbean and U.S. Gulf Coast. Marco, which strengthened to a hurricane on Sunday and is forecast to hit the Louisiana coast on Monday, will be followed by Tropical Storm Laura over the Dominican Republic in Haiti and heading toward Cuba and expected uh, strengthen to a hurricane before striking the Gulf Coast on Thursday. That's right. Two category ones are going to slam into the Louisiana coast, the Gulf Coast. Hope you guys are ready for some flooding, man. Take, please, please take this seriously. At least three people died, including a mother and her seven-year-old son in, in the Dominican Republic due to collapsing walls. Laura left more than a million in the country without electricity, forced more people than a th- uh, forced more than a thousand to evacuate and caused several homes along Isabella River to collapse. Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards on Sunday warned the state's residents that tropical storm force winds would arrive by Monday morning and they should be ready to ride out both Marco and Laura. Wherever you are at, at, uh, at dark tonight is where, uh, where, you need to be, uh, where you need to be prepared to ride out these storms. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to passively mention something. This is not a direct promo like I normally do, but look, I often talk about when we see these crises, you know, ex- uh, escalating emergency food supplies. And, you know, a lot of it had to do with the riots, the unrest, COVID. So I've got a couple buckets of emergency food. I'm not doing a promo. I'm just letting you know this is exactly why you want to make sure you have all the supplies you need. So seriously, go to the store now. If you live in these areas or near here, you want to make sure you have some extra food. You want to make sure you have extra water. Don't don't go in and rush at the last minute like all these people and, and start hoarding things. Just grab a little bit of what you need. This is why I have emergency food. It's it lasts for 25 years because storms happen, man. 
You know, a lot of people want to laugh because they think preppers are preparing for, you know, the meteor of death to come and slam into this into the earth or a solar storm to wipe everything out. And sure, maybe some of them. But I've talked I, I talked to some people in Arizona when it came to covid. And I and I, you know, sh- this lady told me they weren't worried at all about, you know, a lockdown or riots or shortages because they're preppers. They got they got like a three months, three month supply in their in their in their, you know, underground storage or whatever. And it's not because the meteor's coming. It's because sometimes it rains. It's really that simple. They say Laura could strengthen and become a category two or three hurricane and move west, closer to the Houston Galveston area, bringing flooding rains late Wednesday or Thursday, said Chris Kerr, a meteorologist and director of offshore forecasting for DTN, an energy, agriculture, and weather data provider. In Port au Prince, Haiti, videos on social media showed people wading waist deep in muddy water. And some of the worst flooding the capital has seen in years. Haiti is especially vulnerable to intense rains due to shoddy infrastructure and deforestation, which increases the likelihood of landslides. Authorities called on residents along the Artibonite River to evacuate due to the risks uh, the Pelagri the Pelagri hydroelectric dam might burst its banks. Wow, man. Haiti was the first to report a death from Laura, where a 10-year-old girl was killed when a tree fell on her home in the southern town of Anse A. Petrus. I hope I'm pronouncing any of these words correctly. With hopes dashed that the mountains of Hispaniola would weaken the storm, Cuba scrambled on Sunday to prepare for Laura. Evacuations were underway in eastern parts of the Caribbean's largest island, where the storm was expected to strike Sunday evening, bringing flooding before traveling along the entire island on Monday. Back-to-back hurricanes arriving at the U.S. coast within days could result in a prolonged period of hazardous weather, National Hurricane Center forecast forecaster Stacy Stewart warned on Sunday. The Federal Emergency Management Agency has sent teams to emergency operation centers in state capitals in Louisiana and Texas, said spokesman Earl Armstrong. The agency is prepared to handle back-to-back storms. He said pointing to 2004 when four hurricanes took aim at Florida in a six-week period. So not necessarily unprecedented. I mean, kind of. It's, it's extremely rare. But uh, again, get your supplies. Do not joke about this. Officials in Louisiana's coastal Lafourche Parish ordered a mandatory evacuation for residents of low-lying areas at noon on Sunday. The U.S. Coast Guard also raised its warning for the port of New Orleans, calling for ships to make plans to evacuate some areas. The potential for flooding and evacuations added to worries about the spread of COVID-19. Tulane University, the largest private uh, private employer in New Orleans, said it will close its testing center on Monday due to potential flooding and power outages and called on students to maintain social distancing guidelines. All right. All right. I hope you take it seriously. Let's uh, let's try and lighten things up a little bit because I I want you guys to be safe. I want to be serious. But look, I have to wonder sometimes about this. uh, I'm just going to I'm just I'm just going to go nuts with this one. The simulation theory, because I'm sitting here and I tweeted I tweeted uh, double hurricanes 2020. You crazy. How what what is going on? We got we got a pandemic. We got giant meteor of death coming. Okay, it's not the giant meteor of death. It's just it's a meteor, whatever. But two hurricanes at once. How could 2020 be so insane? I I, I certainly don't think there's there's a, a cabal controlling the weather. I know many people probably think that I don't. It's just nuts, isn't it? It's almost like it's almost like a simulation, huh? I was talking to some other uh, uh, commentators and uh, commenter commentators and personalities about this stuff. And, and, and we, were, we were all joking, like, I've never been more conspiratorial in my life <clears throat> than, I have, uh, than I am now in 2020, because you've got, you know, you got all these crazy conspiracies. And then what happens? Bill Clinton, these photos pop up, and then you get double hurricane, and then you get pandemic. It's like, what, what is going on? How could all of this be possible in one year? Here's the joke I made. It's not a simulation. It's a game of civilization or whatever. It's a simul. It, it is some kind of like sim game. And there's this like 20 year old dude who's been playing the whole time. He got up to go to the bathroom and his eight year old brother came in and started like mashing the keys and clicking buttons. And when the brother walks in like from the bathroom, sees his little brother. He's like, dude, Billy, what are you doing? Oh, oh no. Oh, now Donald Trump is president. Oh, like, wh- how do I undo this? And then he like starts like clicking like summon hurricane. I don't know if you've ever played any of those sim games. But that's the joke. That's the gag that Trump. Trump is a glitch in the game that someone was playing, like, oh, no, now, now Trump is president. Oh, what am I going to send in hurricanes, send in a, a pandemic. It's not working. None of it's working. He's going to win. I'm kidding, by the way. But isn't it silly? How absurd is all of this? I, I hope everybody is safe. But I just got to say, like, 
Maybe it's actually just the media. I like to think that, like, how often do we get stories about asteroids and it's not a big deal or whatever? But hurricanes are literally coming. And I mean, it's not like the hurricanes are not coming, maybe uh, whatever. And we actually have the pandemic. I know there's hysteria among many on the left, for sure. But it just seems like how could all of this possibly be a coincidence, right? I'll tell you what, it's because sometimes you win the lottery. That's really it. I mean, look, conspiracies happen. You know, they do. The left likes to, to, to accuse Trump of his conspiracies nonstop all day and night while they believe crazy conspiracy theories, for sure. But isn't it just uh, 2020 is nuts, to say the least. Well, I think we'll be OK. I'm not worried about the asteroid. I hope everyone stays safe with the, with the hurricane coming and I'll leave it there. Next segment will be tomorrow at 10 a.m. on this channel. Thank you all so much for hanging out and I will see you all next time.